Here we are again. Hello and welcome to the Curly Cooks of Croydon. <laughs> Today's a really special day because I've ironed our aprons. Yeah. Um, we tried to start this, this live before but it all went tits up. So if you missed it, we were talking about lemon puffs. One of my favourite biscuits, childhood biscuits. Yeah. Dina loved dead fly Gary Baldy's. I like those. Whoa. What was your favourite childhood biscuit? Gary Baldi's are so good because for me They're because they're soft and there's no not a lot of sugar. You know I don't like sugar. Gross! Gary Baldi is <laughs> like love them. or no. a big roll. Oh. Anything for the gut. Love them. I like a biscuit for the gut. Love them. Nita <laughs> Burke loves them too. Bourbons. Says butter. Nobody's saying bourbons. So bourbons. Did you split them open and then yep, break always. it up on your bottom teeth? Yes. Oh. We uh -huh. were very, very um, restricted on our junk food, weren't we? Yeah. Which is good. My mum made everything. We're so lucky. But that meant that when we got anything like that, we would nibble around the edge, scrape off the cream, <laughs> wouldn't we? We were just Julie, like... Julie's Crafting and Body Shop says Lincoln Biscuit. Lincoln Biscuit? Oh, yeah, with the bubbles. Oh, all in the bubbles. All in the bubbles. Malted milk. Malted milk. Don't, because yeah. I could eat a whole packet. I used to sometimes eat a whole packet of malted milk. See, none of those are vegan now. I think the only vegan... Well, the Gary Baldi is vegan, I think. But uh, yes, so Ellen like says just... bourbons are horrid. I hate bourbons. <laughs> hate them. I like. A what about a custard cream? I love a jammy dodger. Yeah, I like a custard cream. Jammy What's your worst dodgy? biscuit? Pink wafers. Someone said it. They like, like. my worst biscuit. Little Randall. Rich tea. Rich. Oh, I like oh, a rich tea. Oh, oh, ginger nuts. Like I don't like ginger nuts. Oh, I love ginger nuts, ginger nuts. Oh, especially oh. in a glass of whiskey, oh. dipped in whiskey. Oh my goodness. She always does that. If you get any ginger nuts out, she gets the whiskey. out. Whiskey out, red wine. A little bit later, we'll get ginger nuts out. Yeah. Which is very appropriate because today we are celebrating nuts. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. We all love St. Patrick's. And we're also handing out today. Well, not today. It won't be until Tuesday. We are going to ask a question at some point in the show, and then one lucky winner will win a £30 supermarket voucher. Really, really important that when we ask the question at the end, you don't put your answer. You have to wait till the video's uploaded, because if you answer live, it will just disappear. And that will run until midnight Monday, and then Tuesday, whoever you are, we lucky will contact winners. you on Instagram and tell you. Right, who's going first? <coughs> What's on the menu, girls? Um, on the menu, on this side of the kitchen, there is no nod to St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Uh, we're keeping it on that side. I am doing a wild mushroom pate, and I'm doing cauliflower steaks. Uh, why are they called a steak? I don't know. A steak is not a shape, is it? A steak is... Yeah. Is it? Is it yeah. Uh, I'm doing shape, a cauliflower steak with two different toppings Yum. for you. Um, so that's what's happening on my side of the kitchen. She's also going to be telling you about a bottle of wine that we were oh, supposed yes. to show you from the beginning, but... We had fish and chips last night, oh, so, yeah. and we, so we opened it. <laughs> Drank a bit. Sorry, just to interrupt, someone just mentioned the Café Noir, which I love. The Café Noir, Noir biscuit. Yes. What about your Libins? Oh, Libins, <laughs> love them. We actually bought some the other day when we were out, didn't we, and just scoffed a lot. Okay, so that's your end of the kitchen. Just down there now. Right, well, let, let me just get things started, and then I can tell you. Mm. So I'm just going to put... Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> to first of all put a, 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 a hundred <laughs> and twenty <laughs> mils of Guinness yeah. because I am going to make a Guinness cake. Well, I'm actually going to make Guinness cupcakes. I'm putting in a hundred and twenty. Oh, oh, sorry, that man. stupid woman. I'll give you that tin. Oh. One hundred and twenty-five grams of butter. Now, this cake that I am making. <laughs> Sheila Roberts. We had to start three times. That's why yeah. you can't find the link. Um, this is Nigella's, uh, we love Nigella, we're huge Nigella fans, aren't we, Dina? Yeah. This is Nigella's, um, Guinness cake. I was looking around on, um, around online and there was, every, there was so many good reviews on Nigella's Guinness cake. So what I've done is, you know, you can just go online and get this recipe, but what I've done is I've halved it to do cupcakes so that we had time for it. Oh, that's so it's just half the amount. And it works because I've already I've already made some. So just well, halving it. Halving it will do. So she says, to warm your Guinness. In the microwave. In, in the microwave. Micro not in the mi <laughs> not in the microwave. Eh? <laughs> On the hob. So you so it's a really unusual cake. This actually because you do everything in this pan. Something sweet, something savoury, made one last night and loved it. It's oh. really good. Yeah. Oh, did 
did you? Full of something sweet, something savoury. She has gorgeous, gorgeous food. So you made this cake too. Oh God, I've overboard it. Oh, something sweet, man. something savoury. So you just want to melt that butter. Oh, why did I make it so hot? Now all the eggs are bloody Helen good. McHugh says hello from Austria. Oh, hello, where are you in Austria? Yeah. My favourite place. Yeah. Where oh, I want to go to Austria. Yeah. In um, Utterberg, I had a baby Guinness last night. It's Tia Maria with Baileys on the top. Oh, God, it's, oh. it's so good, but it's I got the most oh, drunk time. Yes. While I she's got, cooling that down. We've got it on ring. I got the most drunk I've, I've ever been. been. She bowled things around the dryer. So guys, you really don't want to heat it to that degree. You just you just put the Guinness in and you just melt it gently. There's no sign so, of Guinness. Um, no. No, there's Separate. Guinness, the butter. <laughs> and the butter. So then you put your caster sugar in. Now, I'm not going to be giving you the amounts here because I've used, as I say, I've used Nigella's recipe and I've halved it. Uh, so, Helen McHugh's in Tyrol. Oh! In the Tyrol. In the Tyrol. Where's the Tyrol? In the south. Oh, I, so I, it's near Italy, so it's got, it's just gorgeous. Oh. I'm always saying to Mark I want to go to Austria, but it's not keen. It's beautiful in the summer. Not, not keen. And then, and then in goes the cocoa powder. Oh. As I said, just, this is half the amount. Oh, this is, this is a Nigella Lawson recipe, and I've just halved the amounts to make 12 cupcakes. Whisk that in. How weird, it's all in a sauce. I know, room. I love it. It's fun to make, isn't it? Something sweet, something savoury. I think it was a uh, 150 mils of sour cream and an egg, a large egg. I've got to stop giving the amounts because yeah. it's not the amounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just go, to, just go to Nigella's website if you want the recipe. So whisk it up. I said to Dina, it's quite a nice thing to do actually sometimes on the Curly Cooks is to actually... You know, um, try other people's try other people's recipes because you know they well, say a lot of them don't work. I'm not going to name any chefs' recipes that don't work. Well, yeah, well, exactly. That's why I wanted to try name them, name them, and shame them. That's why I wanted. I can't. That's why I wanted to try um, this recipe. I've never done a Nigella recipe that didn't work. I have no, to say. Never. Never. They're all brilliant. They are um, brilliant. Nigella's latest. They if, never go wrong either. If you really want a cookery book that you could do all the recipes and not going to go wrong, it's it's Nigella. I've noticed something. What? None of us have sworn yet. Wow, this is good. I was going to put this. I was going to put this light on today to remind you not to swear so much. Oh, <laughs> but it says. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, th I said to Dino, I think it's a nice little thing we can do sometimes on Curly yeah. Cooks, because you would never do that on a TV cookery show. No. You would never say, oh, I'm doing yeah, you know, so -so. Nigella's recipe. So we've got um, uh, the sour cream, and I've whisked the egg into it. Because that's a bit hot, I've got to whisk super fast, because otherwise my eggs will turn to scrambled eggs. But it's all right, we've made it through. Mark swearing is good for you. So yeah, I believe that. I believe that. I believe swearing is very good it for is. the soul. Right, and then... She doesn't use baking powder. She uses bicarb, oh. and they rose. Um, so that must be something to do with the bicarb and the Guinness must have, must do something together. Yeah, maybe. But maybe not if you boil the Guinness. What's that? So that is vanilla extract. And then I'm just gonna... Uh, uh, uh. So I've put the bicarb into the flour, so it's a good idea what to is whisk it. It's a raising, it's another raising agent. And so whisk, so, so sieving, sieving in the flour. I ask the questions on the mouse <laughs> You're and very then, good with your questions. Yeah, oh Dina, give me that sieve. Sorry, give me the sieve. So, whoops. You wish you had three hands sometimes. Dina, whisk that for me. So you stir that in. Do you like our flowers, Sops? Look at that. They're proper spring flowers. There's hyacinths are heavenly smell. Oh, God, the John Dobbin says, La Fille Padre Sommer Da. Oh, God, I've done it. Oh, my. Sorry, was that phonetically done? I think that was, is that Gaelic or? Yeah, must have been. Love the flowers. Look, while she's gone, Ooh. I found this in um, Tesco the other day. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Guinness cooking paste. Oh, yes. Smell that, Mark. It's That's official. how you might get a hit of Guinness. Oh, my God. It almost sounds, smells like um, it's absolutely malt. Oh, it's it's God. absolutely delicious, isn't it? Yeah. It's so annoying. What have oh, you done? Man, no, I didn't wash out my bloody muffin tray oh. the last one oh, I did. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No, I can't find another muffin tray. Why don't you put this in a cake tin? Oh, 
tomorrow so some of the I did some artwork with the children for Mother's Day and I always asked them so they were doing a little book of love in oh. the style of Quinton Blake I love you because yes. so I always go around the classroom and ask them why do you love your mum very interesting oh, oh very us. interesting because the boys always I have to say always go for the materialistic things right. my yeah. mum buys me presents right. really? yeah my mum takes me to football um, and all the girls are because oh she gave birth to me. Oh. She brought me oh. into the world. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. I know. Oh, God, I love her. <laughs> but I have to say, nine Dina out of ten cries a lot. She's one of those teachers that <laughs> Only nine out of ten boys said something like oh. because she loves me, because she cuddles me, because she hugs me, because she puts me to sleep, because she reads me sleep. She does my homework, they say. She does my homework, she buys me things. Oh, my mum taught me how to buy fags and buy alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting what you were saying earlier about kids don't realise yes. until they're 26 the value of their mother. Yes. So I've got one child at 25 this mm. year, so I'm still waiting. Yes. Really waiting. But it's more daughters that realise the value of Yeah, them. I need boys. to ask the question out there. Anybody yes. that's got boys, do they ever, ever realise how great you are? No. <laughs> do they ever buy you a birthday card on time or a oh. Mother's Day card? Bet your bottom dollar I don't get either tomorrow. And oh. you know what upsets me about that is, on a serious note, is that you go to town yeah. with their birthdays and with everyone. Yeah. It breaks my heart. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah. rubbish. Elaine Denning says mine's 34 and I'm still waiting. Yeah, see. Oh. It's okay, a, it's a right, I've had a right balls up Just here because I can't find I can't find my other cupcake thing. It's in row. Because I've got one in the sink. So after all of that of saying I'm doing cupcakes, I'm now gonna do a heart shaped Guinness cake. Oh. That'll work. Do you need a special? Yeah, but we won't have time to see it. You've got, you've got the here's the ones I made earlier. Yeah, I've got here's the ones I've made earlier. Guys, what are some of the things you love your mothers for? Share, share oh, them on the notes. Oh, God, just a moment. Smell it. <laughs> it's delicious. Oh, well it's done, Nigella. Do you know? <laughs> yeah. I can't. Hold it. Hold it. With an arthritic Sorry. finger. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how you did She's that. She's got an arthritic finger and I've got an arthritic thumb. Okay. So, there we go. Even though it all went tits up, we're now going to have a heart-shaped... My, my microphone nearly went in it. But then, uh, a, a split second later, I thought, what does it matter if it all goes over the floor? It's not the end of the world. No, yeah. But in that moment, I was as terrified well, as minute, it. For a minute, you're going to stab me. Was it going to get to my child? <laughs> oh, you're going to take that. Yeah, you're going to get that out and sink it in the neck. Okay, so, we've got that in. <laughs> now, here are the, the uh, cupcakes I made earlier. Are they already? Yeah, because we've got to do the topping. So that's in. Right, now, I had a bit of a disaster. <laughs> because she always goes OTT and overfills. So I overfilled these. So what I would say is, fill them to about there. Yeah. And that amount of mixture, how many did something... Oh, she didn't do cupcakes. Or you're going to get... 12. No, you're going to get more than 12. You're going to put icing on, they're going to look like Guinness. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> but these came out perfectly, but these are overfilled, so I had to cut it all, cut all around. But it won't matter because we're putting a topping on and it will look lovely. So come over here. Hi, Lisa Harradine. Quite so. So, over come over here. I'm going over there. Oh, God, Dean, I don't know. Dean, can you give me the cornflower out of that? Jesus Christ. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, so I've got my... <laughs> I've got. <laughs> What's going on? I really should plug that in. My God. Okay. Right. Just soften your Philadelphia cheese. Oh, we've gone into presenting mode again. Yeah, I'm gathering myself. So I would say get that out of the fridge a bit before because it, it you know, you don't want it too hard. I'm going to. 
This is double cream. You can use double cream or whipping cream. Just going to whisk it a little. How much is this? Huh? How much is this? Uh, it's written on that piece Missing of paper. Missing my mama. Hug, mama's hugs a lot, says Elsa. Oh. oh, sweetie. Actually, you don't whisk the, the cream. You just put it in the cheese. You only whisk it with this whipping cream. Oh, Listen. happy birthday to Jackson and Jess, who's 104. Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jess. Happy birthday to you. Wow, 104. Oh, wow. We've got a 104 year old viewer. Yeah, oh, that's so fantastic. Well, we don't know she's a viewer, her granddaughter is. Oh. Two teaspoons. So I've got this icing sugar. It's like a game of chess. And what then the two teaspoons on? of corn flour. Something sweet, something savoury. Corn flour. Yeah. Never done that in a topping before. But it's going to make it really thick, isn't it? I don't know. We're going to see. Hang on. You really do have to. I always try and shortcut here. If, but it's a disaster if you shortcut with sieving your icing sugar. You've got to, because look at all the lumps in icing you sugar. You often shortcut that, though. I shortcut it, and then I get myself in a pickle, don't I? Right. Okay, so now we're going to whisk it. Sweet, there is a mess. You didn't add corn flour, no. Oh, didn't you? Why? Did you think it was too weird? Oh, God, I'm about to get electrocuted. Why? This has come off. Ah, ah, turn. Ah! Mark, turn it off on the wall. <laughs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. What's happened? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. my. <laughs> no, don't, because it's dangerous. Just, what's going on? Okay, let's go over and put the Guinness on top of our Let's go and put the foam on top of our Guinness cake. Let's try and find another pretty little Guinness. We're in a right old mess here. Look, there's the Nigella recipe that I cut into half. Okay. Right old Piccadilly. Right old Piccadilly. Christ, <laughs> need some of this guy, I'm relaxing right now. Zoe, <laughs> it was Zoe, uh, Zoe who's one oh. of our very first followers, and who is Irish and asked for these. So, Zoe, I hope you're appreciating this, and you can make it for your Zoe Cooks channel. Right, so. Now, Dina, how do you think we make it look Guinness here? Oh, yes, I know, you have to do a clover leaf in it. Oh, yeah. No, we want to make it. We should it... have left that to you to do. We want to we want to make it look like Guinness. That's what they do on the Guinness edges is, of oh, Guinness. Is, but oh. Guinness is as flat as a pancake, isn't it? That's, That's the whole thing. Saying, yeah. So, how did something sweet, something savoury do it? Did she do it flat? Did you do it flat, something sweet? It doesn't really look like Guinness, does it? It does. Yeah, it will do when you pull it out. Pull it off the table. Sorry, a shamrock <coughs> leaf, not clover. I'm yeah. sorry, clover. <laughs> shamrock. Sure. I mean, the thing is, I've never made these before. I just made them this morning, so I've never even done the icing before. It didn't make... I thought that corn flour was going to make it really thick, like a big... No, it's not. It's nice, something sweet, something savoury. Holds it. They look great, says Zoe. How... But how can we make... Should I do it like that? No, Oh, no, because no, no, Guinness is flat, no, isn't flat. it? Will you ever I go... I think I would have cut the top, top of the cake, say. Cut those cut the off so they off. were flat. Okay, right, forget them. Because we've got a flat one here. Okay. That'll let, let, That's can, it. can alcoholics eat these? Uh, mm. Well, it's got Guinness in. <clears throat> well, I know that. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to try this. That's a good idea, Dina. <sighs> Naturally. Let's cut the top off. They don't yeah. come out. I tell you what, though. No, they don't, don't come out. No, they do. <laughs> I tell you what, it's delicious cake. Really. Let me smell it. Uh, perfect. It's very fluffy looking. Oh, it. Mm. It really is so juicy as well. Okay, let's try this. Oh no, that's not going to work, Tina. No, because it's oh. crumbly. Dollop it. Maybe oh. you take it out and turn it upside down. Oh yeah. Oh. All trial and error. That's all that cookery is. Yeah. Trial and error. Yeah. And that's what we want to show you is that well, stuff goes wrong for us all the time. But you just go, oh, shall Don't I try say. this? <laughs> But we always get there in the end. Yeah, and the do. thing That's is, very true. and the thing is with cooking, it's like with anything else in life, you can't expect everything to go right the first time. This is the first time I've made these. Anyway, you know, we're not blooming Fortnum and Mason <coughs> cake yeah. makers. That doesn't work. Because now we haven't got the Guinness. Yeah, because you said mm -hmm. it comes out of the cupcake properly and it doesn't. You if you could take it out, but you can't. 
can't. Take it out of the other ones. What's going on? One of these. Pulling the look top off. Look. Oh, that's coming out. Oh, you need those ones. Oh, and then put the Guinness on the top. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. We're trying to make it look like Guinness. You can't. It's not happening. It's no. Not happening. Right, okay, don't try and do that, guys. It doesn't work. Do you remember that <laughs> advert where the horses came out of the sea? That was so good, the Guinness advert. Nice. That yeah, doesn't. That doesn't work. No, that's Davidoff perfume. No, it was white horses, wasn't it, guys? Okay, this is the way to do it. Now, guess where I got these black um, cupcakes cases hell. from? <laughs> Poundland. Oh, hell, that's hell. Fifty for a pound. Oh, so if you sit, did you sit like that link I sent you? They're roping a Poundland in East Dulwich. Yeah. Now, anybody out there needs to know that Dulwich is the most gentrified area, yeah. and they East Dulwich, yeah. not Dulwich Village, and they just think they're the bees flipping knees because they live there, and they're dying but death because Poundland is oh, coming. Really? <laughs> I cannot wait to get down there, get my little <laughs> shopper out, and yeah. get in there. Yeah, it's a lot of, um, not yeah, all of East Dulles, there's lots of nice people in East Dulles, but it's a lot of those Range Rover people, yeah. you know, in time. They're horrified. If you go on Facebook, they are horrified. What sort of thing are they saying? Well, it's just not the right place. And then my friends said, well, we need to get an Iceland down there as well. That'll show them. Even, <laughs> even their prams are like Range Rover. Yeah, their prams are ridiculous. But interestingly, they, need a... they love a little. Oh, they and do an now. Oldie. Yeah, because they want to save the, the pennies. Right, there we go. Right, okay. So forget these. These are, forget these which. are terrible. What, well, all of them? No, we're going to do it. Pretend that's not there. Right, so don't show those. You can show these. Oh. All oh, right, we've gone back to those. We've gone back to those. I wonder if these will. See, because you lose the. It's got to be dark. Yeah, but you've got, yeah, you've got to be able to get them out of the cupcake yeah, holder. That's, that's a kind of vital detail. Well, they, just go down to Poundland. Go down to Poundland and get these, and, and I really am not exaggerating when I say, they were a pound. I think, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the first time when I first knew yeah. Mark, when we were first going out, me and Mark, and, and Mark really didn't know Dina at all, he'd met her a couple of times, and we went shopping somewhere, and we were in Poundland, and he kept saying to you the whole time, well, how much is this one? You were going, you were looking at me like, is he a fucking idiot? <laughs> she was going, she was going, pound. And he's like, then like, what's this? Well, it's pound. It just, it just well, went on and on. Someone is definitely so going to say on there in a minute that pound land is no longer Not only anymore. a pound. It used to be, used to be a pound. Well, there you go. So it's a bit of a balls up, but also it's not because these are the most moist, delicious, intense. The Guinness with the cocoa just gives this incredible, like, intense chocolate flavour. You just said moist. Can't, but I had to because there were. I, I tried to avoid it the whole way through, wet. but then I got to no. You don't say wet. Gooey. Just delicious. They are really, really lovely. There's our can of Guinness. Don't put it there, man. That doesn't work. No. No, it really doesn't work. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, okay. I really don't care. Very, no, very lovely. Moist. We should have done a stencil of this and and sh sh maybe we can make a stencil and do some before the end. Shake some cocoa on the top. Plot this Make morning. a stencil before the end. <laughs> no, of a, of a, of a, of a heart. Shamrock. Of a shamrock. I'll just whiz off and make yeah. one of those. Yeah, would you be able to? Right. right. Can you get that pan on for me? Thank God. Get that pan on. You're right. Yeah. Right. Don't forget you've got a cake in the oven. This huh. is, <laughs> I'm going to make a cauliflower steak from this little cauliflower. This is just for me. This is for one person dinner. If you want a two-person dinner, you need to get a bigger one to get and then two the steaks. Like super yeah, so uh, I've taken all these lovely outbeat out things off. Do not chuck these, okay? These are lovely, just steamed or shredded and fried or in a soup. Not, uh, do not waste. Okay, so I'm. You can I'm, also wear them as underwear. Do you know that? You can scrap them round. Yeah. Dina, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a better one. Cauliflower. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Right, so you want to go right for the centre, and we want it to be about an inch wide. Okay. Now, we're just hoping that this isn't a crumbly cauliflower. Beautiful. No, it's not. They look so like brains, don't they? I think this is good. Oh. There yes. we go. A lovely steak in the middle. So you've got the rest there for a cauliflower, cheese, curry, whatever. Okay, and Nadja, I tell you what, I couldn't find your sumag. Sumak. 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 Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna 
put a little bit of wine in here. State of this place already. Already. It's all right. Maddie coming. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we're going to start it off in the frying pan. Um, and get it nice and brown and caramelised. There's now just trick. I haven't got the bread. Let's try cauliflower. Oh, it's not hot enough. Just seeing if this is hot enough. Is that enough to muck? Yeah, I just want to sprinkle it on. Oh, okay. Once before it goes in the oven. Okay. Wow. Lovely. Who hates cauliflower? You hate cauliflower, Do don't you? Also, I'm so bored of cauliflower as I eat it every day when I eat Toby Carberry veg dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're going to bring you up a bit from that. That's totally Andrea Crash, what's an idea wrong? Did she forget her meds? Yeah, something seriously wrong going on over here. I think it's lack of sleep. Right. Um, just now, John, I'm going to let, just let you keep an eye on that while I show you the two sauces that I'm going to make. Okay. Um, so, the first one I'm going to make is a salsa verde. Salsa verde means green sauce. And really, you can put any green, lovely flavours you like into this. I have got 20 grams of basil leaves, 20 grams of mint leaves, and 20 grams of parsley. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Oh my God, look at all that greenness that's going to be inside you. Um, then I've got one shallot chopped in um, red wine vinegar. I don't want all that vinegar. That's been marinating for about an hour. So we might add that in afterwards. This is so nice. simple. So nice. And then the good old fashioned gherkin soup. Yeah, so how do you stop cauliflower gas? Gap? Cumin. Oh. Cumin. In fact, actually, yeah, let's have a bit of cumin on that. Thanks for that. We'll have some cumin. We won't oh, have some We'll have a bit of cumin. Sorry. Do you want to turn it over again? Yeah. Okay, so let's turn over the cauliflower steak and see how it's going. Oh wow. Lovely. Can you give it a little sprinkle of salt? Yeah. And some little chopped gherkins. Love a gherkin. So, and in a, a normal salsa verde, you've got anchovies for, um, but for a vegan one, no anchovies. Anchovies are a crime. I think now just you, I think now. No, totally wrong. What's, what are those green things that you put in there? Oh, next! Capers! They're going oh. in. They're going oh, in. Oh, I've got capers in my dish as well. Oh, mate. And, um... Are they served in normal vinegar? Uh, some yeah. as well. What, this? Yeah, Laura S. The shallot yeah. was in red wine vinegar. Okay. Um, you want this chunky... This is chunky sauce, so you don't have to finely chop these. Here's your monsters. Mm. Whoa! Look them look bastard. Whoa! Oh, are they? These are just my favourite no, things. Where do they grow? Oh, are they so like you? Olives? No, 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 no. These are from nasturtiums. Really bad oh. news, guys. What? I've got to put the kettle on. Oh, oh no. Sorry, our kettle is so loud. What with that, with that um, frying as well. Ooh. Right, roughly chop these. Yes, they're from nasturtiums. How wonderful is that? So nasturtiums, I grow to eat. You will be seeing me through the summer putting them on lots of my dishes because the orange yellow flower is the most peppery, delicious thing ever. And don't forget, well, for those of you that are doing the 30 plants a week, which are really good for your gut, things like that, sprinkling on those yeah. flowers, that's different. Look how many we've got in there. Bio. We've got parsley, mint, basil, Ooh, capers, gherkins, shallots. Uh-oh, garlic breast. In the meanwhile, the measuring spoons have gone missing. For those who are watching for the first time, there's something Not weird again. in this house. Oh, you're taking a picture of that. Lovely. So I'm now filming for the gram while we are live. There's Mark filming for the live on YouTube. <laughs> okay. And you just want to put about 120 ml of oil in there. I'm totally guessing this. Yeah. And I'm just getting to the end of this bottle. Look at all that goodness. Right. It's most cooking instinct. Mm, well, it is for me. But I don't yeah, I like it is for me. It's on YouTube. Okay. My sister's making something rather marvellous there. The salsa the verde. Cupcake. So join us there. Over on YouTube. Go to the Swala Abbey. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that smell. Tez is hungry at 5 a.m. and Tez is in America. Oh, Carly! Whereabouts in America? 
Right. She told her, won't you too? Oh, well, we're aimed it. Sorry. I'm not a vegetarian, says Marina O'Donnell, but Dina makes the dishes, Dina makes dishes are very delicious looking. Oh, and you know what, you've so always much. got to remember when you're watching Dina, oh, it's a bit round. Right. when you're watching Dina, can you shoot it into the oven? Mm. Uh, oh, that means I've got to open my tape. Yeah, so, okay. Um, oh, the cake's doing, look how beautifully. Oh. Actually, it's really nice. I wish I'd done that in the first place. They're the cupcakes. But, um, yeah, you could have done an enormous chan rock. Yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> you were saying the thing about me when I'm cooking. Oh, yeah. So whenever Dina's cooking a vegan dish, and this is very much what our book is going to be like as well, that you could put, that would be delicious with some lamb chops on the side or what we want to do is we want to do amazing vegetables that you can also, that marry really well with meats because so many people have got Vegans, wow. vegetarians, and meat eaters in the family, isn't there? Put a little bit of that vinegar in there just to so, loosen you know, it up so a bit. Like with this, if you usually with lamb chops or your chicken, you always have broccoli or think, why don't I just have a go at that cauliflower oh, thing and put it on the side? And, and people will need to eat less meat as well, so it's cheaper. No, that. Oh my god. Jeez. I think the salsa oh. verde has to be more pouring though, doesn't it? You, I like it chunky. Ah. You don't have to have it. You could blend that up and have mm. it more, really, yeah, more nice. runny. Um, okay, on to my second sauce. Are we halfway through the show yet? Yes, bang on. We are. Okay, so in here I have um, the second sauce, which has got an Arabic flavour. So I have got two tablespoons of um, lemon juice and 80 ml of tahini. Ooh. Okay, and a clove of garlic. Ooh. So. Tahini. What is tahini? What is tahini? What is tahini? Tahini is a wonderful, very adaptable paste made from sesame seeds. Wow. Um, so nice. we have got one, what did I say? 80 ml of tahini, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two cloves of garlic, and then we put a little bit of warm water through it just to make it a bit runny. I'm sure I'm good. Some veggie, but I would be if I lived with Dina. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, oh, that makes us happy because that's what Dina wants to show you. But, you know, the problem is with the way that we eat vegetables a lot in this country, it's just so boring, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I must admit, I'm very boring with my veggies, Dina. Are you? Why not? So you but know. your family aren't very veggie no, people. They're, they're they're just, not, they will not be swayed to a vegetable. They won't even Well, Maddie's getting great now. Mark hates every vegetable. What yeah. vegetable do you like? Mange too. Oh, oh yuck. Broccoli. Now, they're the only ones I don't like. Broccoli. Uh, broccoli. Broccoli's all right. Okay, so when our cauliflower steaks out, I will dress these two. Meanwhile, Nadja, you're on to your putinesca and What's you've got some guest fire. Yeah, because there, there was hardly any water in the kettle, so I got a bit behind with my Why spaghetti. And um, because I am going to make you... Pasta putanesca. Do you like your tray? Eh? Hey? Do you like your tray? Ooh. Yeah, careful. Whoa. Mrs. O, look. Ah! I do my missus. I like, can I do my missus? I will. You're going to literally do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, we are going to be making from, this is actually from uh, my book, The Disaster, Disaster Chef. I don't know if any of you have got that. Pasta putanesca. This is a, a book that Kay and I did years ago, and this is the recipe, because Kay is a dreadful cook, but this is the recipe she says she does over and over again. It's so easy, and it's, you know, a lot of us are a bit unadventurous, aren't we, with our spaghettis? Is this supposed to be on? That's why my spaghetti's on fire. Oh. Your lid is gonna get hot. Yeah, hang on. Um, oh, where's the lid? What? Where's the jug? Utensils. Yeah. Yeah. Chi Chi is still on holiday. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, she is. She's having a ball. She's down by the sea. Our friend Donna's son is just so desperate for a dog. And every so often, he has Chi Chi and he looks after her so beautifully. And we get all these lovely pictures of her running on the beach. And it's lovely. We miss her, but it's lovely for her. It's good for her. Okay. Um, so, puta, put, pasta puttanesca. Dina, oh, speak a bit of Italian. Puttanesca. Puttana. 
Right, which Italian viewer out there is going to write up there what putana means? Putana. Who knows what that means? Or in uh, French, putain. Pudenda. Putana. Putana. What does it mean? Pudenda. What is a pudenda? I don't know what a pudenda is. I'm just adding a bit more light to this because now just right, we'll make it a bit more liquid. Um, okay, putana means whore. Whore? Yeah, yeah. it does. Whore? Whore. Hooker. It's a horse pasta. <laughs> is it? What is it? What they eat before they... I don't know. Dina, can you put some... Lady of the night, says Laura. That's a better way of putting it. Yeah. That's Lady definitely a better way of putting it. Okay, but, um, so we've got oh. the spaghetti cooking, and um, now in my recipe book it says cut the garlic finely in thin slices. Yeah, do you want me to do that then? We haven't got time. What? Yeah, you've got 25 minutes. <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah, go on. Yeah, you've got to like, you've really got to do it. Yeah, got it. Because it, it just completely changes the whole flavour of the dish when it's sliced. Because you're going to fry it. And it's going to come up nice and brown. This is this is a favourite vegan pasta without the anchovies, actually. So yeah, and on that, I want to talk to you about the anchovies because it took me ages to try pasta puttanesca because I'd look on a menu and I'd go, oh, it's got anchovies in. I love anchovies. It's really, really important that you believe me on this. It's not a dish that tastes of pure anchovies, is it, Tina? No. It's the salt you're getting from it. it. It just, the anchovies give like a really intense Tang. savouriness to it that you wouldn't get with just salt. But of course, you don't have to put the salt in. So if the garlic is ready, we're going to put in that. Let's get our anchovies. Is anyone else hot? So yeah. hot. Jesus. This, this, stop raining in Croydon. Whew. The sun is trying to come out. I'm going to open the door. So 80 grams. One sec. So hot. Oh, there we go, guys. So 50 to 80 grams of anchovies. This is just a 50 gram pot. In the recipe book, it says it says to use um, 80, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to put this in. So you want three to four cloves of garlic. See how easy this is. You could do this for a special dinner tonight. You know, do a little date night. Make a complete something you've never made before. Now in goes the garlic. Now that oil is quite hot, okay? So we want to be careful because if that goes back, you have to start again. Even if it goes too dark a, a, a golden, isn't it, Dean? It's just yeah. yuck. So it's just, it, you have to watch it like a hawk because it will be in seconds that will be burned and we'll have to start again and we waste all that lovely oil. Okay, so next I'm going to put the anchovies in. And what you do with these is you really mush them into the oil. They sort of dissolve into the oil. Is your cake all right? Huh? Oh, have a look at it. Go and have a look at the cake, Mark. Don't trip. Oh, it's oh, enormous. Look at that. Well, I can't remember when I put enormous. it in. Can anyone remember when they put it in? Sorry. About 15 minutes ago. I've got to try oh. my cauliflower. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Mark, maybe it's how excited you can get about the flour, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, what's happening to the spaghetti? Oh, Tina, no. put the spaghetti back on. Put it back on. Put it back on. Oh, God, we're going to have raw spaghetti. Loving it, loving it. So you see how I'm mulching that anchovy until there's... And, and how the garlic's just a little bit golden brown. That's right, isn't it, Tina? Well, Tina is... they love a Caesar salad. Doesn't that come in That's tomorrow? got it. Anchovies. Watch the No Name Sunday show tomorrow. That's in our members area, guys. We do loads of stuff on this channel, on the main channel, but we've got a members area. It's one ninety nine a month, and we do, like, a really lovely Sunday show um, where, where we... It's a bit... It's a sort of gentle one. It's a more gentle, it's, yeah, it's recipes that take more time because it's recorded. Um, recipes that take more time than this? Yeah. <laughs> so not like cook as you oh, do. Oh, cook as yeah. you go. Yeah, and um, book reviews. Uh, Mark, what else Funny is there? Funny names. Yeah. Just trying to think what else is in the Sunday show. Mark Na knows better than Nadia that. And, oh, Nadia, and Dean, Nadia and Dina shopping. Oh yeah, oh, shopping, yeah. my favourite pastime. Yeah. Right, okay, so now I'm going to put in two tablespoons of 
tomato puree. We always fry our tomato puree. Yeah, um, Lisa loves, you're absolutely right. Lisa loves, sometimes Lee does cocktails. It's a real mixed bag. Sometimes Teddy. Sometimes Teddy talks. Oh, there goes the spaghetti. So just cooking in that, doesn't that already look yum, rich and delicious? So the reason we fry the tomato puree is because um, if you don't, you get sort of a bitter taste and it just intensifies the tomato, don't you think, Dina? I remember John Terode saying to me on MasterChef. Yeah, that's done, it's up there. He doesn't, <laughs> he, he get, his heart sinks when he sees somebody get tomato puree out. And I said, well, why? We use tomato puree loads and we love it. And I've told you my top tip for a bit of skin protection. It, try and have a tablespoon of tomato paste oh, a day yes. from now, from April to summer. Sun, sunburn. Yeah, it really helps with protecting you. You have to wear your sun patch, of course, yeah. but it really, really helps and it's good for you. Someone says cake, uh, llama says cake's been in 27 minutes. 27. Okay. okay. So in goes the chili. Thank you so much for that. So I put in some chili. You don't have to put chili. I put, um, Half a teaspoon, you really, but that is what makes it putanesco, isn't it? The chilli, the fire, the, the fire, fire. Lady of the night. Yeah, so that's, oh, now, now, oh, 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 now you can before. smell the change in that tomato puree. And it's really intense tomato yumness. Okay, into that I'm going to put some good quality black olives. About that many. A tablespoon of capers. Says it's five to eleven in the morning. Okay. Oh, just rest it for me. <laughs> You've got to get some of those. Oh, oh. we can grow me some. Get those pizza. Pizza, they sweet, 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 sweet. Look at them. I'm actually following the recipe from my own books. I haven't made it so long. Work, yeah. It's my thing for my thumb. It's gone. Everyone's thumb's gone. So is mine. Yeah, this is what does it. No, no, this is what does it. It's great. So you put 400 mils of passata or a tin of um, chopped tomatoes. We both think passata's better. Uh, yeah. Because it doesn't need to cook for as it long. Need to cook down so much. Because it doesn't, it doesn't cook down so much. Will the go forward this <gasps> No. The last, last week in March. Black pepper. Salt, be careful with the salt because anchovies and capers are salty. Um, but I'm going to put a little salt. It's being drawn to this flour. Huh? Okay. So, Dina, what have you got to do next? I am going to start making She's my bubble for mushroom a couple of minutes. From pate. Oh no, have we got another pan? What, what kind of. Oh, the, like the one that's in the oven. Uh, I should have put this one in the oven. Never mind, I'll use this one. Okay. So what are we making here, mushroom pate? Mushroom pate. Oh, nice. I love um, the pate. Yeah. yeah. Dad has gone absolutely nuts with this. He just keeps saying to me every day, where's the mushroom, when's the mushroom pate coming? Yeah. So, where's my vegan butter? Oh. Pomegranate seeds, fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, my flora vegan butter is going in about two ounces and some big glug of olive oil. Sounds good over yeah. here guys. We do not get through some olive oil. Yeah. If any company would like to send us a massive pot of olive oil. <laughs> We'd love it. <laughs> so I'm going to say that's about three tablespoons. It doesn't matter if it's under, it doesn't matter if it's over, it's not a disaster. And into that is going a shallot that's been finally chopped. Charlene Evans is watching Miss Seamus rolling in Port Leaven. Oh my oh. gosh, I love Port Leaven. I have been there Beautiful. many times. Oh, I'm so jealous. Many, many times. In fact, there's a great food festival there that I'd love to go to. Oh, Jamie, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's our lovely, lovely agent, and it, I love him because he watches the show. That's why we're Does he? Yeah, he does. Good lad. Oh, good lad. Okay, I think I might be ready to do my puttanesca. Let me try it. Oh, oh, that's yummy. If you're using um, tin tomatoes, if you try any, whenever you're cooking tomatoes, it tastes a little bit vinegary. Just add a pinch of sugar. Or oh, I'll wait for this. A little bit of vanilla. Really? 
really? Vanilla in tomato just smooths off all the edges of, of a sour of a sour tomato. God, I didn't know that. What, now. like just a drop? Yeah. I mean, I put a vanilla stick in. Mm. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Dina makes the most fantastic vanilla. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Coleslaw. Oh, yeah. She'll make that one. Yeah. Day. When she makes it, she has to make a tub this big because our eldest, doesn't she, Mark, loves it. Yeah. She just eats it every day until it's gone. Please make some. Right, those are nicely softening. Okay, so I'm going we can to... put our spaghetti in our puttanesca. I've got it's such a tip over here now. I can't actually believe it. Oh, it's a tip. I can't. Um, 500 grams of chopped mushrooms. Next thing. Next thing is, is Mark. Is the cake okay? Thank you. Oh. What do you think the cake's about? Really? Yeah. And don't forget, Mark is going to be making the perfect. Oh! Oh, it looks fantastic. Oh, finally, I've had a bit of a success. And close it, Mark. I just need to find something to pin the I think it's going to take longer than half an hour, though. Right, over here in this gruesome little bowl are some dried mushrooms that have been soaking. The great thing about dried mushrooms, you can have them for a century. I don't think they ever run out. Oh, but, it's ready. is it? It's ready. Get it out then. And how do I know that's ready, folks? By just, Sticking it shouldn't be a fork, it. it should have been a skewer, but I didn't have a skewer. And it, it. and it came out and it was clean. So it's got a belly button. Look at that. No, no sticky cake on it. That's going to be delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Wish I could give you all a slice of cake. Actually, I've, yeah, are you doing that now? Yeah, so. I've got too many crossover points today. Oh, well, I can't do that. Uh, That's yeah. fine. Oh, no, I think I'm my cauliflower steak needs to come out. Well, how many dishes are coming, guys? It's all right, it's all right. Yeah. Do you want it out? Or? Uh, it can be a bit more caramelised, can't it? Tastes so, amazing. Everyone's saying yummy, 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 yummy. So, over here are my handful of dried mushrooms. They look pretty gruesome, don't they? But they add so much flavour. Wow. And they have been soaking for about an hour, and we're going to use a bit of that liquid. Um, ooh, look like at that one. That's a little brain one. That's yeah. that morel. Ah! Oh, no. Ah. Oh. Ah. What's she done? Cut your finger. finger Dean, just because your knife is too small. This is a stupid little knife. Use this knife. It's only got parsley on it, which is in my, mis my recipe anyway. Right, I'm just putting the spaghetti. Now I'm doing this because you should always have a little bit of the pasta water in the sauce. So I always put it straight from the sauce, uh, the dish, into the pasta and then I stir it into the pasta. Oh, Dina, look at that. Lovely without the anchovies for me. Pasta. Yeah, if you're vegan or vegetarian, take the anchovies just out. take the anchovies out. Vegetarians eat anchovies. They eat fish. No, pescatarians will eat fish. Oh. Vegetarians only eat vegetables. No, and dairy. They yeah, eat dairy, dairy. But they don't eat anchovies. You've got to be a pescatarian. <sighs> oh, I didn't realise that gas was hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think my hair melted a bit. It's the singed cooks of Croydon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. God, I've still got to clear this up for Mark now to do his blooming... Irish coffee. Oh, I think we've pushed the boat out here today. We have. We've got a bit too much stuff. Oh. Lots of recipes for you to do, guys. Those mushrooms have this. just gone in there now. And don't forget, there's going to be that voucher for somebody to win because we said we want some of it. We want people to think, right, I'm going to go out and buy that food and I'm going to have a go at making something that I've never made before. Oh, look at that. Wow. Whoa. Ricky Wayton's family is pescatarian. Pescatarian. So. I love black olives. Oh, yeah. Well, I think you, you should still try this because though there's capers in, there's not many. And again, it just gives the flavour. With this dish, just try it, guys. Don't go, oh, well, I don't like that and I don't like that. Did you put the anchovies in it? Yes. Well done with your filming today, Mark. It's a lot. You stay right on top of it as you so so I don't I, know if you've noticed how quiet I am. Okay, I'm so not allowed to swear. So I put, I, I put a tablespoon of chopped, chopped fresh thyme and those dried mushrooms have gone in there now. Um, and now I'm going to add the magic ingredient, which is sherry. Ooh. Oh no, Madeira I'm going to use, oh, aren't I? Madeira. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, get shot of that. So you don't have to put the basil leaves, it's an extra expense, but it is nice. Now, the Italians go mad if you put cheese on that because there's fish. But I still like Parmesan on it. I don't care. I'm going to do it 
It's not the Italian so much, it's the Arabs. Like Dad will always say, you never mix fish and cheese. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit really funny. Probably because he's on. from the desert and he doesn't really oh. understand fish. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit more olive oil on top because you get that nice sheen. Oh, look at that. A little black pepper. What do you think? Well, it's yeah. amazing. Let's take a picture of it. Let me take a picture while it's still hot. So. Oh God! Look at that! Mm. Look at that, guys! You'll see that on the gram in a minute. Oh. Very nice. Nadia. Yeah. That looks nice. Over there. Looks very nice. No. Um, so I, have, I put some of the mushroom water that I soaked those mushrooms in. And um, this is about how much should we do? about 80 mil and let that burn off a little bit. Uh, well, it's burn off enough for me to be able to know. Yes. Yeah. Say so, hi, Mark. Hi. Say hi, Dina. Hello. Say hi to the gram. <laughs> so while that's bubbling away, over here I have got 80 grams of walnuts that I toasted in a pan, mm. chopped with a tablespoon oh, of parsley. Now, a little bit of garlic powder. Jesus. Can you smell that? You can smell yeah, that, can't smell you? That. So we want some of that liquid to come off a bit because we're going to um, pulp it. I need, actually, do you know what? Mark's going to have to make his Irish coffee so this can cool down a bit. Okay. Katie Johnston says, can you put all those ingredients in a soup? Why not? Mm, yeah, you absolutely Why can. not? And then I would add a little bit of vegan cream. I love mushroom the soup. Cream of mushroom soup. I love it. Dina, Dina's favourite vegan cream is the... Um, Elmi. I love it, only, but the oat oatly. Oatly. Well, it's very good. Because there's something about having all those oats. That mm, seems good. That looks nice. All those oats. Um, yes, that looks delicious. Isn't it? That's the nuts and parsley. I'm just going to do a sort of crabbing shot. Right, I do think it's time to get that colour left. Am I allowed to taste it? Careful, Dina. For God's sake, don't hold it. Am I allowed to taste that, or do you have to keep it? Yeah, it? you can taste it. I've got, well, I need a photo of it. I've got a film of it, but I need a photo of it. And then you can taste it at the end, do you? So guys, it's Mother's Day. Whilst they're doing all of that, any messages for your mums? Any mess oh, excuse me, any messages for mums? Tomorrow? For tomorrow, the opening one is so nice, you wouldn't know it isn't real cream. Yes. Um, and I the love custom. made mushroom soups, as I throw it. Vegan cheese from Tesco, if you're still having trouble getting it from Lidl, is amazing, says Emma Walsh. Oh, oh I, Anne Marie sent me six packets of vegan yeah, parmesan. She did. This is so funny because Dina had been looking for ages. She went to every Lidl and she couldn't find it. And then one of our subs sent us six packets. Nadia, but that's good to know. We'll try that other cheese. Where, where was it Tesco. from? Tesco. Tesco. Okay. Nadia, that's my... Happy Mother's Day to Marilyn, says sorry, Steph Schultz. Has oh. Rowley, or oh, Rowley, missed my mum, but I still feel her love. Oh. Uh, happy Mother's Day, oh, I've done that. Uh, miss you, mum, says Sonia Donovan. Oh, sweetie. Happy Mother's Day to my mum, Dawn, says Nicola Randall. My mum is my best friend, says Billy May Ruffle. Don't know where I would be without her. Oh. Ellery Jones, happy Heavenly Mother Day to my mum. Oh, sweetie. Uh, and it's Mother's Day tomorrow, but we're not live tomorrow. Uh, Nick Nick, love you, mummy, from Nick Nick. Carla Martin, sending best wishes to you all, Mark. Oh, bless Nadia, Dina, and lovely family. Thank oh, you, Carla. Thank you. Tez, much blessings to all mums. My first Mother's Day, I hope 2505 without one of my daughters. She was just 18. Oh, sweetie. Oh. oh. So you can show this, you can show this to anyone who's leaving a message for their mums tomorrow. Come on. All those new um, mums out there as well. JJ, happy Mother's Day Who's to my mum. Yvonne, is it my mum? Oh no, my mum Maureen, so it has up so far she can't put it down. So, can I just ask you where the Irish coffee recipe is? Uh, yes, it's printed in my room, printed. I'm just, um, like that, I'm making that salsa verde, just a little bit more liquid. Um, and I'm going to do half the steak, my cauliflower steak with the salsa verde, and half with the tahini. Look at that. Okay. okay. I'll do one straight off my phone. Then I'll, I can get it from over there. I'll Oh, okay. So, next we're going to be doing the Irish coffee. So, do, do, what do we do? What do Who's we do? Who's Irish here? Do we make an espresso? We don't even know what we make. Yeah, you just need a black coffee, don't you? A black coffee. 
that's not going to be easy. Oh, this is looking lovely. I'm going to do half and half. 150 mils of black coffee. 150 mils of black coffee. Every single jug is now dirty. <laughs> Yeah, here it is here, so when I look at it, I can't. There you go. Ooh, it's over there now, isn't it? Yeah, I've got it. I'm just going to do... Let's dress it with half and half. Oh, we'll see what you mean. It looks like a steak. Yeah. Like a hollandaise. Yeah. That's really clever. And a few of these beautiful little jewels. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Oh, yes. And look at that. Fizzing away nuts. over there. What's your favourite nut, Dina? My favourite nut is this. Oh, yeah. Was that another one of your little innuendos? Left or Not right? a ginger nut. Was she like left or right? <laughs> <laughs> I walk away and you're off the bed. Yeah, I've, literally, I've pummeled my mouth. <laughs> well, we don't need to not talk, we just need to not swear quite as much. You can still swear. Look at oh, the mess here. Oh, no, it's oh, just it's don't brilliant. swear as much. Stop being so annoying. I want this. Yeah. I desperately want that. Want that looks this. so good. Just this just on pasta. Or on, a, on toast. Yeah. Mushrooms, the most versatile vegetable, well, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, and you know. and Dina, what would you say to somebody who thinks they don't like mushrooms? They may not have them cooked in mushrooms. Why? I really met somebody that don't like mushrooms. Uh, people that don't like mushrooms don't usually like the texture, that's all, because the oh. taste is so good. I love the texture, it tastes what? It's... <sighs> a bell mushroom. A bell mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I need See? to go... I'm saying to you, do the you do... All I said was don't swear all the way through it. It's a bell mushroom. No, but you were just about to say, well, I can't do an Indian. No, I wasn't, I was going to say bell end. <laughs> So I really need to let this completely, all the liquid go before I can... Um... I think a bird just came in. What? I think a bird just came Ooh, in. Oh, that's an omen. I think a robin just came in. Oh, the robin came in. Oh, that's not a good omen. Are well, the it chestnut might be. mushrooms fake to ask Those are chestnut, yeah. But yeah. Th the one I made uh, last night for my friends had half chestnut, half that lovely wild mix they oh, have in right. Tesco's. And I made Riverford's red onion marmalade to go with it. So I highly recommend that recipe. Riverford's oh. red onion marmalade. Mm -mm -mm. Do you like onions? No. Not no. Really. Oh my gosh. Do you like chode mushrooms? Chode? Chode mushrooms. Chode. What are yes. chode mushrooms? Well, they're very small. Dina. Chewed. Dina. Chode. Dina. Chode. Dina. Watch him. Watch him. That's the chode. Last thing. Chode, chode mushrooms. They're, they're you encourage tiny. him, and then this is what you start getting. Mushrooms, do you not know? What <laughs> yes, I do know what you're saying. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. shut you up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Dina, do you want to tell them about the wine? Oh, yes, of course I do. So, to go with your lovely mushroom pate, or your mushroom soup, or your pasta with this mushroom mixture, I have chosen this lovely Pinot Noir. We were supposed to open it on camera today, but from we Aldi, did last night. From it's Aldi, 13 and half percent, and it's vegan. Uh, well done, massive applause to Aldi, because I would say 90% of your wines are vegan. Wow. Well, I just go along the shelf, I'm like, oh, 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 vegan, so fabulous. I better taste test it for you. Yeah, I think so. Ah, you're right. going to be drinking the Irish coffee in a minute. Oh, oh yeah. One of those Saturdays, Oh, I need a glass. Go on, you can do it. Oh, it's Pinot Noir, how much is it? Pinot Noir, 5 99 oh, Wow. 5 99 So, it goes, a Pinot Noir, look at me talking like I'm a wine oh, no. expert. Well, you are really. You always choose, with, well, you got, I mean, you haven't got a certificate. No. But I've never not liked the wine you've chosen. Is there an ology attached to it? Wineology. Mm. Nice. Yeah, we had this last oh, night. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. Uh, it's got like a. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like a herb, but it's got like a. Lovely. Tang. Lovely, absolutely. And it really pairs well. <laughs> pairs well with the mushrooms. Oh, God, listen to her going all posh. Oh. <laughs> Did anybody buy that for their mother? That's still in uh, Aldi as well. Look at it with the lights and it looks beautiful. Yeah, marked, yeah. Okay, so. Is it Mark's turn? I'm going to take these into the garden to cool down a bit. Oh, yes. yes, I am. So we need to whizzle on. Watch out for that robin. Where should I put them? Uh, oh, I put them on your table. Put it on the bird bath. Yeah. 
That'd be funny okay. if the... You need to put a nutmeg on the top as well. Yeah, I need nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. Oh, like nutmeg. Oh, look. Nutmeg? I'm working right. with whiskey. What's yeah, wrong so with this whiskey for an Irish coffee? Oh. It's not Irish. Yeah. We didn't have any Irish. Scottish. I wanted, I little used to do a really nice Irish whiskey. That seems to have gone. So I went to Sainsbury's in the hope that I'd find good old Jameson's. Jameson's is a good Irish whiskey. Right. Uh-uh. Okay. So. That is amazing. We haven't really given this the attention it deserves. Look at it. Yeah. Work of art. That is a cauliflower ah! steak. She's always got to be called it. Attention. This was on top of there and I took it from the top shelf. It hit me in the face. Scratch my brand who, new glasses. Who put that there? Oh, no, these aren't my new glasses. Who put that there? I don't know, me probably. Um, apparently, you need brown sugar for an Irish coffee. Oh. Okay. So there's your nutmeg, there's your spoon. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. Ah. Oh. Has Dina. anyone noticed I haven't eaten any of my food today yet? Yes. Fabulous. Oh. Yeah. Well I haven't eaten my cauliflower steak, which I'm dying okay. to eat. So, uh, that cake's alright, that's alright. These are all the ingredients, guys. You don't need a cup oh, of tea. Oh, I need the cream. Cream, nutmeg, hallucinatory. Oh. Yeah, if you eat enough of it. Wow. And if you smoke banana skins. Okay, smoke banana okay skins. so Irish coffee. Time. I need something to mix that in. Well, I want you to do it the traditional way, which is not that you whip it. You oh. pour it on the back of a spoon. That's the skill. Because oh. here they're saying whip it and put it on top. That's not how you do an Irish no. coffee. Because I used to work in a restaurant and I used to, oh my God. You know, you're young, you're just new, in a new to a job and they get put you on the Irish coffees. It was awful. I actually can't quite remember how to do it, but okay. I do remember. I just want to take that lid off because it yeah, looks so mucky. It. Put it over there. <laughs> Okay. This cake, oh, it smells so good. So right, I'm over okay, here. so you're over there. Right. Okay, so you need 150 mils of coffee. Got it. And, but you need uh, a teaspoon of brown sugar in it first. Stir it in there. And, then, and you can make it as sweet or as unsweet. Just guess, Mark. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Which one? Which one? No that one or that one? The brown one. Apparently, brown is best. So who would like to give Mark any tips on getting that cream perfect on the top? The way I used to have to do it in the restaurant was you would pour it over the spoon very, very slowly. No, I'm looking forward to this. So it just went onto the coffee. I don't think I've ever had Her one calls it a floater Aww. coffee. A floater? Yeah. Yes. Or a sinker? Oh, God. What do you do? Well, I like to do a bit of both. We've made people fancy Guinness, they're going out to buy Brilliant, Guinness. okay. So hang on, a tip from Zoe Agnew, pour it very, very slowly. Which Lots bit? Lots saying use the spoon. The cream. cream when we get to Yes, it. okay. So I would say, so I've put, put the sugar in. Put the whiskey in there, do it all in there and then... How much whiskey? How much whiskey? Um, uh, a jigger. A jigger. Oh, 50 a jigger. mils, that's 50, the large that's one. That's the big the one. Large one. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm a recovering oh, we alcoholic. Got the, we haven't got the vegan cream! Oh! oh. Won't it work? Oh, I don't know if the vegan cream will work. No, 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 Mark! You silly. Right, let me taste that. I'm an alky. Let me taste that before you put the cream in it. Right, everyone's saying over the back of the spoon. It's going in there, right? Does it need more sugar? Is that it? Oh, Jesus. Well, we did put another bloody... It's like my mulled wine was notorious. It needs some more sugar. It needs some more sugar. So you want to taste it? And I'm not a sugar freak. Oh, hang on, nutmeg. Not yet. Goes on the top. Is this it? What? Stop keep saying this is that. It. You've got to pour the cream on the top. That's the whole thing of it. That's the difficult thing of an Irish coffee. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, I hope Chambers. This show is live and international. So nice for people all around the world. Are uh, brought together by delicious recipes oh, that's so nice. and wonderful personalities. That's Hope Chambers. Thank you. What a lovely thing to Hope. say. Sending you a great big wet snog. He's sending you a snog. Honey. Okay, can I pour in? So pour in, but leave enough room at the top for the cream. Yeah, I love it because it's got a skull on it and everything. Well, that's a bit annoying because you don't really want the filling on top, do you? Yes, you do. No, you don't. You so know, I've heard. Coffee. Okay, uh, oh, hang nut, on. nutmeg. Hang on, because you want to sit the. No, no, no. No, so it's really on the top. Isn't it? you, the nutmeg, the nutmeg goes, on top. goes on top of the cream. I knew that. 
Do okay. you know what I'm going to start doing, Dina? What? I'm just going to print out a recipe and just give it to him. You're right. Because he's always running ahead. So why doesn't he just follow the recipe? That's just so hard. What do you think? Why is she so mean? No, look, just seriously. I wonder if that's a no, good way to No, it's more fun do... on you to give him the recipe. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so, so you're right. I've got bit... froth. Yeah, so I would take that off. I don't know if that's me being a bit over cautious, but I can't imagine how the cream's going to sit. I'm going to just take it over. I think the cream will sit more... lovely. I think the cream will sit lovely on So I've done that. something oh, instinctively more... correct. Yeah. Mark, put the rest of the coffee in because it's... Well, yeah, but you said leave enough space. Well, yeah, but we, you don't want that much cream. Yeah, stop. Stop. So what do we think? Okay, I want to take a vote on this. Guys, I'm not sure, am I being overcautious? I'm worrying that that on top will stop the cream from being flat on top. What do you think? Whilst people answer, I think that that will allow it to attach to the top. Ah, I think okay. it will be like a skin that kind of holds the cream. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so I'm going to be very much on the glass here. So you hold and put a spoon over it. Like that. Yeah, and you just very slowly, very slowly. Where's it ending up? Just on the top? top yeah, so do you think you should go more to the edge, guys? Oh I'll leave the froth for saying they think. Yeah. Well, it just sink. Well, that's the point. I think put the spoon lower. Maybe not that low. Oh, my. <laughs> you are. Oh, oh Juniper Place is saying on the edge. Put the spoon on the edge. Edge. Yes, you're right, Juniper. No, not that way. The tip. There. No, no, Mark. Which tip? The tip? No, the no. tip. Dina, help him. He what do you mean understand. the tip? This. The yes. This on the edge. Oh, there. Oh, my God. <laughs> this screaming it. Oh, my God. Okay. Poor very, very. How do I get to here that I'm going to miss? <laughs> it's going to fall over the side. No. Do I go no, round? No, no, no. How has this suddenly become this so right. stressful? <laughs> so tilt the spoon, tilt it high, high, tilt yeah. it. You sit on the edge! Where are you going? Go back! I, mean, I don't want you near me! I don't want you near me! It stresses me, go back. But you can't go back. understand what I'm saying! Because well, you're not very clear. Right, hang on. There. Before you start pouring the cream, just listen to what I've said. So that goes on the edge, but you tilt the spoon up with your hand. There you go. Right. Pour the cream there. Onto the spoon. Yeah. Very slowly, so it doesn't sink. We're going to know instantly. Oh, good, slow. Slow. Oh, should be nearer to the glass. Go nearer to the edge. Oh, Dina. Yeah. Dina. Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh, my Lord. Well done, keep going. Oh, can't go anymore. Yay. Oh, my God. Hang on. Nothing oh, look, I missed. Oh, mate! Yeah! There you go, Dina. Right, from the side, from the side, check it from the side. From the wow. side? Wow. It's all just getting yeah, turning. There you go. You're going to have it. And then what you do, of course, is you suck the coffee. Do you remember in Indian oh. restaurants? We always used to Indian have it when we used to go for a curry. No, it's, it's got the normal cream on it. It, it when we were it's young. Good. That looks amazing. Artistically done. When we were sort of young and thinking ourselves very posh when we used to go out for a curry because we were going to a restaurant and we used to think we were really posh ordering an Irish coffee and make ourselves sorry. sick after having a naan and all of oh, that. Korma. Oh. Any Irish there? Is that all right? I'm going to make those for people. Yeah. Just make it a little ritual. There what you go. It? I mean, you can get even better than that so it's totally black but that's so good for your first one. That's it. No, I don't want to. I don't fancy all that. Dina, have a sip. No, Someone sure. have a sip. It's because it's vegan. It's not vegan cream, sweetheart. Anyway, there you go, guys. Fabulous. Irish here. Looks amazing. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Rachel. Rachel Reed. Nora Doyle, Shamrocks. Oh, mate. Drink it, says Zoe. I know Zoe, right? <laughs> I can't, and they won't. <laughs> okay, I don't sorry. even have the choice. Time to get the... Oh, I enjoyed that. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Theresa Ray. Look at that. That's amazing. A heart shaped Guinness cake for St. Patrick's. Let's forget about the cupcakes. Um, we had time to cook it and everything. Cooked for about 35 minutes. So. Um, that's, again, half the amount of the nigella. Do you want me to that's measure that? That's a cake though, isn't it? It's 
Sharon says someone should try it. Someone should try it. What well, do you give it Come to Maddie? Is Maddie around? Oh no, sorry, the orange pocket. Oh look, she's getting a measuring stick out. Well, just in case somebody wanted to make it. So the widest well point done, is That's amazing. 23 and 21. And look how ticked uh, 23 by 20, that heart shaped cake out there. I would make that cake any time actually, Dina. It's it's just so nice. So you could swap the butter yeah, with coconut flour. So you can do all of that. Yeah. Oh no, it's got the egg in it though. You could put a table, tablespoon of flaxseed. Okay. Tablespoon of flaxseed, hot water. And that's your one egg. Okay. Whatever. Go. Don't hang around, don't dawdle. Do you want to give me a knife? Dawdle. Oh, I can give that to Layla. Just a normal knife. Just a slice of that. A normal yeah. knife. And then she can take it home for Jerry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So my cousin, her husband is Irish. Prick the cake and pour the coffee over it. Yeah, oh, that, oh. that, that was What a naughty good person idea. said that? The other thing is yeah. you could put some Baileys uh, into that this was cream. Elaine Denning. Can't you just put a hole in it? No, not that. Oh, clever. I would put a little sprinkling of cocoa or. Joe yeah. Rosler's uncle is obsessed with flaxseed. Oh, really? And he wears it. I know you can wear bamboo, but I don't know about flaxseed, yeah. <laughs> okay, you go on and I'll do it. Did you hear about the guy who put the nutmeg up his foreskin? And what was his learning objective? Uh, to make his nut. Fucking oh. hell, excuse me. Oh, you know what it rhymes with, nutmeg. No, I don't. Right, so whilst you were away, yes. um, I put all of the mushrooms into oh, my Lidl... Um, blender. Um, you could leave it a bit chunkier if you want a chunkier pate and I, in the bowl is a pot of the um, Philadelphia vegan cream cheese. Possibly my favourite one now. Um, and the nuts and the parsley and then you're just going to So everyone's it. really adopting vegan versions yeah. of what they do. Yeah, they've, I mean they've got to haven't they? They've got to like, yeah. you've got to please the market out there and I just think people even if you're not vegan try them um, because really we're, we're not really built to consume a lot of dairy um, and what you'll find is when you eat vegan based creams and cheeses that you do feel quite different you don't feel so full you don't feel so bloated okay so then that's gonna go oh Gosh, smells so good. Yep. Fridge needs to go in the fridge for eight hours. So this isn't something you can make. Quicky, quicky. It looks like a loaf tin. It's a loaf tin with my, my liner. Yes, there's something comforting about them, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, it really is. I sort of want to climb in them and sleep. Whoa, look at all that goodness. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. gosh. Dad is going to be so excited. He's got like a a pound of mushroom yeah. pate coming his way. Yeah. Wow. Some toast oh. would have been nice, but I think we're going to run out of time. And how long would it take to so raise? That, <laughs> <laughs> to set that is going to take um, at least eight hours. You eight could hours. speed it up in the freezer, but here I have one made earlier. Ooh. So this is how oh, I did them oh, for, my, for my friends this week. So I put them into ramekins. So you're going to get eight to ten ramekins out of that wow, mixture. Okay. A little walnut in there, nice. a little nod to the walnut. I love a walnut, yeah. I love nature. What do you call you... a nut on a wall? A walnut. What do you call a nut on a chest? A chestnut. What do you call nuts on your chin? Nuts on your chin? Work it out. No, I can't. Mm. I'm too thick, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and here's some of my red onion marmalade that I made, and that is a really lovely combination. I would also put that a dressing great. in there with a walnut oil, if you've got walnut oil, and a few walnuts mm. in the... Um, and you can eat just normal bread? Yeah, normal yeah. bread. Sourdough? Yeah, sourdough, delicious, toasted with that. Oh, that looks really nice. That looks really nice. Mm. That looks really nice. They're... Oh, look! Mm, that looks delicious. That looks fantastic. All of that looks... So we ended up... Oh Getting God. like two lots of cake. That's amazing, girls. Yeah. Oh, right, well so the question to win the £30 yeah. uh, supermarket voucher is 
What is the main ingredient in tahini? Don't put your answer here. You have to wait until the video is uploaded. Yeah. Otherwise, your answer will not stay there and you won't be in, a chance, in with a chance of winning the voucher. Right. So you've got a ch you can do this up until Monday at midnight. And Monday then we will, at midnight. And then we'll tell you on Tuesday okay. who's won. So I'm just going to play something for us to go out. So oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh, gosh. So we've got go improv. Irish. Irish. Improv. So here we go. Got to do. So you ready? Yeah. Hang on one sec. We always do dance. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification on bell. So there we go. Because there's loads going on on this channel. It's not just this. Oh. Oh God, here we go. This is going to be our knees. It's going to be a bit faster. <laughs> yeah. Arms down. Arms down. They don't think Ha, 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 ha.